Installing MySQL Server in Linux turns out to be easier than even installing in Windows. We'll just use the package that's available in the package maintainer's version. In this case, we're using the Ubuntu operating system, bash command shell, and the aptitude package manager, but these steps are similar if you're using a Red Hat distribution that uses the YUM package manager, for example, CentOS. So to start with, we're going to go ahead and update the local packages. So you'll notice that you're going to need pseudo privileges for all these commands because they require elevated privileges. So you can either type sudo in front of each command in order to avoid these types of errors, or you can elevate to a elevated privilege prompt like root in order to be able to run the commands without sudo. Either way, it'll work just fine. So we've already run the app get update in order to update a list of the software that's available for us to download. So now we can go ahead and do the installation. So we're going to do apt get install mysql server. If you double tab, you'll notice that there's a few different options. If you want the full featured packages with the client and everything, just install the mysql server. You notice that the core and some of the other packages are going to get installed. Once that's done, you should be able to log into the MySQL server. And using the MySQL client program here, we can see we're logged in. If you want to manage your MySQL server, you may want to install the Workbench software. So the Workbench is a graphical user interface and it'll let you work with the MySQL server with a graphical tool a lot like you would with other major operating systems. For example, SQL Server has the SSMX graphical manager that a lot of people are used to and the MySQL Workbench provides similar functionality for MySQL. Once you're done, you can start the Workbench by typing in MySQL Workbench. If you want to have your command prompt freed up after you start the workbench, just use an ampersand after the command, and then you'll still have your command prompt available to you without it getting tied up. The ampersand just runs the workbench program in the background of the terminal.